Jonathan, Ryan, Terry. Hey, Thank congratulations you. for the series. Uh, Shorzy. Thank, Thank you very much. Hey, so, uh, so for each of you, uh, how, what initially tr drew you to the series and how you were brought on board? Go ahead, uh, one of you guys. Um, well, so for myself, um, actually, I make music back home in Montreal. So my name is Jonathan, but I go by, I go by the name uh, Joe Dolo. So one day I just got an Instagram message from Kara, is uh, production and Shorzy there. She's partnering with uh, Jared. So she sent me an uh, Instagram message saying, uh, how would you like to get an opportunity to play yourself in a TV show and stuff? At first I thought it was a joke, so I didn't really get back to her. And then they spoke to my team. And so my friends uh, hollered at me and they said, uh, oh, Jonathan, you should talk to her. It's, it's a real thing. And so I spoke to her and then uh, here we are now. So a uh, little Instagram message at first for me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I, uh, I just, I, uh, I was just slugging away auditioning for stuff and, um, uh, and like any other project I came across that, uh, that Jared was doing a spinoff. I had actually known Jared for a while, uh, just as friends too. So it was exciting, but we never really talked about it. We, we were, we would have the odd Skype and stuff over the pandemic, but we never really brought it up because I didn't want to bring friends into it too much. Um, and uh, so I just kind of let it be. And um, I actually got, he was nice enough to uh, call me a few months later and personally uh, ask me if I want to jump on board for the show. And it was a, it was a an overwhelming yes. And, uh, and then had a few months before we went up to Sudbury all together. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, mine was through like, a just your typical kind of audition process. So, Oh, um, I'm Terry Ryan. I play hitch, um, from Newfoundland. So of, of the actual hockey players, I, I was already in the acting union, but more as stunts. I live in St. John's, Newfoundland. We do a show here, Hudson and Rex. We did frontier with Jason Momoa. I started doing stunts. Uh, with him on that so I was in the union but it still really had nothing to do with it it's not like I was looking for auditions I have a podcast called Tales with TR and I believe uh, some people were listening to it maybe that were involved in the industry it's a small world if you think the hockey world's small uh, the film world's even smaller so I actually had a chance to be on Letterkenny I had to audition but they reached out to me I, I don't usually go province to province in season eight it was a hockey season and they needed a Newfoundlander to play which I talks like this, like Hitch talks like this, right? Because Newfoundland, there's, there's a, a strong accent around, out around the bays. So I, I kind of brought that to Letterkenny, and I suppose Shorzy, unbeknownst to me, was being developed, and they needed a Newfoundlander. And I believe, you know, that's why they reached out, uh, because I had some experience, but I've never really asked anybody. Well, now for all, for all three of you, how much, how much experience in hockey did you actually have prior to the show or – are, are you guys even fans of hockey? I, mean, I, I don't even know why I'm asking Canadian. I, I, drive, I drive my partner nuts with the amount of hockey that's on TV all the time. I, I, I really do. Um, I, I grew up loving it. Uh, I, pl I only played like up until like midget AAA, tier one high school, uh, stuff like that. Um, but uh, – yeah, I mean, these guys, go ahead. Uh, Dolo and I played pro, so I'm Terry Ryan. I, play, I was the Montreal Canadiens first round pick in 95. Uh, and I had a pretty fun career, mostly in the minors. I did get up to the NHL for eight games. Uh, I, heard, I had an ankle injury really early, which hence the acting, and I went back to school. And so, but I did play pro hockey for a, a long time. And, uh, you know, that's obviously the biggest part of why we got the role. Obviously. Yeah, I got uh, Jonathan, Joe Dolo again. Um, I got drafted by Natural Predators in 2013, uh, third round, played three years professional, and then I uh, just decided to hang them up, come back home and do my uh, make, do my music, you know, and I actually uh, kind of turned out pretty well for me. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's excellent. Um, John, Jonathan, is that your actual music that was portrayed was on on the show was that was that all yeah, you? yeah it's my so episode two opening the intro there it's feel blessed by me anthony bailey that's my that's the first song me and my producer sat down to actually make together uh jared loved it so we put it out then we have no discussion in episode two as well and um we have all that by anthony bailey again and myself in episode six doing a pretty funny scene <laughs> well it's excellent Terry, I'm um, just just remind me. Did 
did were, were you missing teeth in on that show and uh well, <laughs> well, I, uh, <laughs> well I, I can do the rest of the interview with the tooth out so this is true um well of course it's true i wouldn't be telling you what, what would be the point of wasting everybody's time so i I lost it in hockey, and then that's a story in itself. You can read all about it in my best-selling book, Tales of a First Round Nothing. But um, I, and, that, and that is a quite a unique story. I won't get into it. We'll be here all day, but book. quite a unique story, how go I lost my two. Yeah, go buy the book. So, but uh, I started, like I said, I, I, I worked, I, I got a folklore degree here from the Univer or Memorial University of Newfoundland. I didn't know where to go with it. So I started working on a crew. There was a show called Republic of Doyle. So that's how I got in. I, I was locations. Um, I, I was a set dresser. So, and then I went on Frontier. I talked my way into a couple of stunts. And the very, very first scene of Frontier, which is on Netflix now, I believe, requires Jason Momoa to, to slit a British soldier's, soldier's throat. And I, I got the role. I don't know how. One of the reasons is because I have no tooth. So, you know, and, and I, I was in the process of getting it fixed, but I kept getting these roles. So I've probably, you know, minor stuff, but I've, of everything I've done, which is probably 12 to 15 things on screen, I can't remember any that I didn't have my tooth out. So I literally keep it out now. And lo and behold, Shorzy called. It was really convenient for that because I would have knocked it out again with a hammer. But but uh, anyway, I yeah, I, could, I just roll with it now because it's part of my living, I guess. <laughs> well, most excellent. Well, one, one, one more thing uh, for uh, for all, all you gentlemen. Oh, I guess uh, it's mainly for Jonathan, but Jonathan... Um, you you mainly speak French uh, th throughout the uh, yeah throughout the entire series. How how is that like uh, for you uh, to be a uh, you know non non English speaker and how does everyone else react uh, to you? Um, well, for myself, it was it was really fun to play. You know, because uh, I'm for, I'm from Quebec, Montreal, I'm from Montreal, Quebec, so uh, French spoken first person. You know, what I'm saying first, uh, French was my first language, so I, I'm just playing myself really much, pretty much. You know, I just. Uh, I do my thing. So for me, it was really easy. It was fun with Jacob too. The way they wrote and Jared, the way they wrote, they told me just to put the real Quebecois accent on it. So the way it's like myself, but a bit more Quebecer than I, I would speak myself, you know? And I think uh, for the other people in the show, it was really cool to play with me because sometimes they wouldn't understand the word that I, I would say, but they just have to get go along with it. And I think that's what's uh, really amazing about the show is that it's really inclusive. It's really representative of, of, of Canada, you know, in Montreal, you know, we have people talking French and responding in English and stuff like that, or other languages. And I think the show is just like that. So it's, it's, it was pretty cool. And I think people are going to catch up on it. You want to jump in, Ryan? No, I just loved how it was assumed that we, we knew what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that to me was the biggest thing that I took away from it. Too. I think it, I think part of the appeal, honestly, between me and Dolo is because I mean, I'm playing, I, I'm actually playing an exaggerated version, not of myself, hitch is hitch, but you know, this guy's a former first rounder from Mount Pearl, Newfoundland. Uh, and, you know, this Newfoundland is a really distinct dialect or many of them. So, you know, a lot of people, my character speaks English, yes, but a lot of Canadians can't understand mm -hmm. a Newfoundlander with a really strong accent. So for, for, for Hitch and Dolo to be conversing as if, you know, they both completely understand each other fluently <laughs> would be really an odd thing in Canada. Yeah, which is beautiful. Well, yeah. It's beautiful. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Congratulations once again for Shorzy. Thank you for speaking to us. Thanks to you. May thank have you a good rest. Thanks for having us.